Welcome back, everybody. Now, from food to entertainment and shopping, there's a lot happening at this weekend's Okinawan Festival. And Kelly headed over to the Hawaii Convention Center to see what kind of products you can go home with. We're here at the Hawaii Convention Center because the biggest cultural festival in the entire state is returning, the Okinawan Festival. And Brandon Nakasune joins us. He is the Okinawan Festival chairperson. Aloha. Good morning, Kelly. Thanks for having me. So happy to have you and so excited that this event is back because it has all of my favorite things. Food, shopping, lots of entertainment, but also great history. So tell us what we can expect at this year's festival and let's start with the shopping. Oh, this is a shopper's paradise here. We have our Heiwa Dori this year, which features um, um, products directly from Okinawa and you can get all your specialty Okinawa products from that store. We have our country store which specializes in a lot of local favorites uh, including Aloha Tofu which has their Jumami Tofu which is a, a peanut pudding and we have Asato Family Sherbert, uh, Hawaiian Chip Company just to name a few. Um, and then we also have our craft gallery, which uh, specializes in local handmade goods from local crafters. Uh, you, you can find some Hawaiian items there as well. And then don't forget, we also have our plants where you can get your favorite succulents. Those are probably the most popular thing everybody goes home with, carrying their boxes of succulent plants. Wow, that is a lot. Okay, and I know not only, of course, do you have a ton of crafters coming, but also a lot of great food, which is one of my favorite parts. Now, of course, there's going to be andagi, but let's talk about the other great food that's going to be there. Oh, andagi and dog, which is a hot dog with the andagi batter, yaki soba, Okinawa soba, um, champuru, which is a Okinawan stir-fry dish. Uh, we also have our um, oki dog, which is a um, tortilla filled with a hot dog, chili, uh, Okinawa shoyu pork and some veggies wrapped up ready for you to eat. Besides um, the food that we're making, we have food vendors as well. You can find those in the country store. So Aloha Tofu has a jumami tofu, which is a Okinawan peanut pudding. Uh, we have other favorites like Asato Family Sherbert, um, Hawaiian Chip Company, Aloon Farms. Uh, they're just selling fresh fruits and vegetables. We have Anda Miso, uh, which is uh, miso and pork paste beet that tastes amazing with rice. Mm -hmm. uh, we have popular Jane's tea stand, our plantation iced tea and lemonade. I mentioned a lot of tofu, but we also have Kilani Bakery brownies, Kansai Yamato Mochi, Nishoto Manju, wow. Scoop Scoop Kinako ice cream, and a lot, lot more. You can find more information on our website at www.okinawanfestival.com. Just check it out. Perfect, because there's, I know, a long list of food vendors to go through. Now, the festival. Of course, it's the Okinawan Festival. So yes, there's great shopping and food, but it's a cultural event and you can learn about Okinawan history. Yes, so this year we have a very, very unique opportunity to bring the Himeyuri Memorial Museum uh, exhibit and it's a traveling exhibit. First time here in Hawaii. Uh, it'll share a little bit about the reminders and the um, brutality of war. Uh, I was going to visit that and, and get that experience for our Okinawa history. We also have representatives from the Ryukyu University who are coming here to share more about their exchange program with Hawaii. Oh, that'll be so great to hear. Interesting. And not only, of course, are you going to get the interesting history, but there's also really great entertainment coming. Yes. So uh, we have a group coming from Okinawa this year that will be performing on Sunday, the Aima Media Group. And they're a folk music group that actually are professional musicians. They have their own establishments and entertain nightly in Okinawa. They're flying here to join us. Uh, we also have on Saturday afternoon, Jake Shimabukuro is going to make a performance. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. So you guys have all the food, all the entertainment, and really great history. So I'm sure everyone wants to go out. Again, this is happening this weekend, but what are the details? This weekend, September 2nd and 3rd at the Hawaii Convention Center. General admission, admission on both days starts at 10 a.m. And don't forget, we have the Bon Dance on Saturday night that starts at 5.30 to 9 p.m. Um, overflow parking, because the convention center parking usually fills up very quickly. We have overflow parking at Alawana Shopping Center, and those are the paid areas. We also have shuttle, sh shuttle buses from the Fossi Municipal Building. Uh, you just catch the bus from the Alapai Transit Center, and it'll bring you straight to the convention center. Perfect, and we'll have all of that information on our website at kh12.com. But it's going to be an incredible festival happening this weekend. You guys won't want to miss it. Thanks so much for having me Thank on you, here. Kelly. All right, back to the studio. Okay, uh, I went last year, mm -hmm. so much fun. And you're looking at Andagi. Yeah. And this week, John, Kelly, and myself are gonna 
We're gonna attempt, well, I'm gonna attempt, you guys are probably better than I am, <laughs> to make it again. It's so yes, good. I'm excited. And so we're gonna actually be previewing a lot of things from the Okinawan Festival in the coming days. So yeah. make sure you stay tuned to Living 808, but also yeah. make your plans this weekend. It's gonna be a really great time. There's a lot happening. Those Onda dogs though. Oh, so next good. level. Um, oh okay, so when I went last year, a lot of people were raving about bringing home the plants that you guys saw. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. But they sold out fast last year, so. You gotta go early. You gotta go early, so that's a helpful tip if you guys are gonna make your way out mm -hmm. uh, this weekend. Yeah, all right.